In this lesson, we are going to talk about how to graph quadratics by hand when the quadratic equation is written in standard form, or y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And from our early work with quadratics, when we made the big graphs way back in the beginning of the year, remember that the a, the coefficient of the x squared term, or the leading coefficient of that equation, tells us the width, the relative width, and whether or not our parabola will have a maximum or minimum. And that c value is really just the y-intercept, because when you plug in a 0 for the x's, you're just left with c. And this b value, we kind of left up in the air as to what it did, but we had an indication that it would have something to do with the shift left or right. Now, without the b term, I have a quadratic of this form, y equals ax squared plus c. Now, any quadratic that is missing the bx or that linear term, and it's just the quadratic term and the constant, they all have axes of symmetry at x equals 0, so the y-axis is always the line of symmetry for that parabola, and its y-intercept is always going to be the same point as the vertex. And so if I don't have a bx term, this is what I know about all of my graphs of my parabolas. Now with the b term, the line of symmetry shifts. Now it would be super cool if the line of symmetry were located at, say, x equals b or x equals negative b, but that's not the case. The axis of symmetry when a parabola has the b term, and actually when it doesn't have the b term, it's x equals the opposite of b over 2a. Now if the b term is missing, in this case, it's really uh, b is 0, so it's 0x, and so if I plug in the 0 here, I'm going to get x equals 0. So this is the formula for the axis of symmetry for a quadratic function. So it's x equals the opposite of b over 2a, and this is super important because this axis of symmetry is the most important part graphically of the parabola because with it we can find the vertex and a bunch of additional points. So x equals the opposite of b over 2a. That is the formula to find the axis of symmetry for a quadratic function. Now when I actually ask you to graph a parabola, you need to remember that you have to have at least three points. It's the same as when you use the regression on a calculator. You need three points for a quadratic equation. So you need three points for graphing. And these two steps here are the most important. Finding and plotting the axis of symmetry and plotting the vertex. One of the three points that you need for graphing by hand is the vertex. This is actually the single most important point on the parabola because it's going to tell you either the lowest value or the highest value. It will tell you what your range is. And in application, that highest point is actually usually pretty important. So you need to find the vertex. Okay, So that's one of your three points. Now, ideally, your other two points would be your x and y intercepts. That would be the best graph of a parabola you could make because x and y intercepts are also usually important to the function or an application. And sometimes the x intercepts, the y intercepts, and the vertex are all exactly the same point, like in the case of you know y equals 2x squared or something. Um, and in those cases, you're going to have to find another point. But remember always that parabolas are symmetric about their axis of symmetry. So if you find one point, you actually are finding two because you can always reflect it across the axis of symmetry. And then finally, of course, remember to sketch in your curve, add in your arrows, your labels, all that kind of stuff. Now the hardest part of graphing a parabola or a quadratic function by hand is finding all the necessary information to actually graph it from the equation. And so let's do an example where I find all the information I need to graph. And the first thing I need to know is I need to know where that axis of symmetry is, which is where that formula comes in handy. I need x equals the opposite of b over 2a. That's how I find my axis of symmetry. And in this example, 
a equals 1, b equals negative 6, and c equals 9. And so substituting in these values, I get the opposite of negative 6 over 2 times 1, which is 6 over 2, or 3. So my axis of symmetry is located at x equals 3. So it's that vertical line, x equals 3. So step 1, taken care of. Step 2, remember, is to plot the vertex, which means I have to find the vertex. And the vertex, remember, is on the axis of symmetry. And I know the x value for the vertex. It has coordinates 3 comma something because it has to be on the axis of symmetry. And the only thing is, is I don't know what the y value is, but I have the equation that I can use to figure out the y value. And so the y value is going to be 3 squared minus 6 times 3 plus 9. So I get 9 minus 18 plus 9, which gives me 0. So my vertex is located at the point 3 comma 0. So what I know graphically about my parabola is that at the line x equals 3, I have my axis of symmetry, and I have my vertex at the point 3 comma 0. So I have one point down. Now I want to plot any x and y intercepts. And I happen to have the x-intercept because it was the same point as the vertex. So I've taken care of the x-intercept. Now I need to find the y-intercept. And I can calculate the y-intercept if I don't remember what the equation gives me. And remember, the y-intercept occurs when x equals 0. And so I just have to find out what that simplifies to, which is, of course, 9. Now if I remembered what the equation gave me, remember the c-value is the y-intercept. So now I have a y-intercept somewhere over here at 9. And it says you might have to find other points. And remember I said if you want to graph a parabola, you need at least three points? Well, I actually have three points. In finding that y-intercept, I actually found a location of a third point on the other side of the axis of symmetry. So I scooch over 3, and I scooch over 3, and I get at 6, 9 my third point. And then, of course, I just have to sketch in my parabola, and it's much easier to sketch in if you actually use graph paper like you're supposed to for graphing. Um, and so I have all the information I need just to sketch the curve in, add some arrows, and label some axes. I said that you only need three points to graph a parabola, and if you have more points, you can graph a better parabola. And if you actually use graph paper, you can graph a better par a parabola. I'm just going to try to sketch in a parabola here. It's not going to be very good because, once again, I don't have graph paper. I only have three points. It's actually a very bad parabola here. Let's kind of sketch it. So with a bare minimum of three points, I can kind of get an okay parabola. It's a little too pointy. Uh, if I, once again, if I had more points, it would be a lot better. And if I use graph paper, it would be a lot better. And now for your check, I'm not going to actually have you graph something at home. You're going to graph a bunch of stuff in class. But I do want you to practice getting the information from the equation. So I want you to find the axis of symmetry, find the coordinates of the vertex, and the y-intercept of this equation. y equals negative x squared minus 6x minus 8.